Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back once more to Leisara Summit Kingdom. We're back to, is it a small settlement at this point? I have no idea really. And we continue onwards right away with my mission that we have reaching research level 3. Um, yeah, and I think at least, because the game really doesn't tell me that, um, that we have two ways of doing this, either by going with uh, two more academies or with going with the monastery, uh, the monastery, right? The monastery, however, needs the setter, the painted setter, and in this case here, uh, that might be tricky, right? So the monastery we have, um, around that, we could also start with some more monks, because basically we do need that workforce um, running up, right? So in this case, uh, let's just go ahead and have a few more. Let's just make sure that they're all within the vicinity of the monastery, right over here. So that's just going to be just dandy <laughs> right over here and also giving me the workforce by the way there's also a river up here look at that good little river that we have and yeah might be also a nice location for bath if monks need a bath i have no idea we'll just see let's also have a few more i don't know if it's so comfortable living here so close to the edge but these guys love it they love it high above the clouds and this is what i'm providing them with there you go. So that's the workforce. We still need to work a bit on the lowlanders, right? So the lowlanders all the way down here. I mean, just as fitting to their name, really. Here they are. The problem is we have some needs for them. The thing is, though, I do not lose workforce when they're not fully satisfied, right? Um, I gain workforce by upgrading them, but not by the steps in between. These guys here do need some more enlightenment. So these two. So I might actually provide this with another praying shrine that we have them behind my donation giver, right? This actually makes it possible for us to upgrade a bunch of them. And with that, we have eight again. That will still not be enough. So I still need to provide a few more lowlanders here. Let's just see where we could do this. This is the shrine. They can upgrade. Perfect, right? Leading to 32. And then, of course, we have the problem again with the, yeah, with the, the income of my goods. So in this case here, that is the cheese and that is the temper so both of these we should provide again the temper is up here i think we just need the fields right that's easy and a field only needs three people and there you go and with that the mill is now working at full capacity and in this case here temper for everyone cheese would be another thing but i don't think i need to provide it because you know it doesn't give me any more upgrades so what we can do is we can yeah either create a new plateau or I'm just squeezing every single tile here with more lowlanders and hope that this will be enough. There you go, right? That's 56, should be fine. Some more yaks as well. We have the farms here. However, it's also getting quite busy in this area. I can still try it, of course. There, we can still have one more. With that, we have no more yak demand in total, right? So it's zero again. And now we can finally work on that production. For this, I need the crystal mine over here. So let's just have a look at another bridge that I could have to the other side. Lots of rocks here. Funny thing is they're purely cosmetic, right? So once I build a road around them, they just give way <laughs> like this. No problem. And then we can build a crystal mine. This actually needs some lowlanders done as well. And we can have then a crystal mine down here. There it is, right? That's number one. That's four crystals. We gotta make really sure that we plan this right. Because it's going to be a lot of um, transportation. We also have the herbalist done. This grows the herbs. We can do this in the same area, I think. And the setter growth done as well. Um, yeah, lots of different things. Also the dye producer. So let's actually have the herbalist done in this area too. This one costs me monks actually. Six monks it is. Let's have some whopping two there for now, right? And then we have the dye producer in the yeah, in the center, not really. We are going to need some space here for the card posts. So let's have one card post there for now. With that, we have a negative money balance, unfortunately. We need more yaks, uh, definitely. So in this case, let's find us a suitable location. I think it's this green area. We're only having the barley fields here, so this area we can still use for some yaks. I need to, unfortunately. Right. There you go. This gives me plenty of yaks again, and with that, a nice balance once more. Even though I can already see that this balance might be problematic for me. We'll just see how we can tackle this, because all of this costs me quite a lot of upkeep, as we can see. The crystal mine was 17. The setter growth is 13, right, that we have then here as well. 
we'll try to squeeze it in here at the very last spot, right? Um, then we need the die producer. That's another nine upkeep we need to provide. There you go. And then we have the setup painter. That's 13 on the upkeep. Let's try to make sure that we can actually use then two of them here. So this is going to be a block, right? Where we can use them together. Beautiful buildings, no doubt. 26. This is going to be tight. And we cannot do it like that, of course, because it needs to be in range. So let's just make sure that we provide the range. Oh, come on. All right. I can easily move it. That's the that's the advantage. I really don't want to have the middleman here, right? Because the middleman costs me money again. So I'm trying to, to make it work like that. And then we should be able to do it. There you go. Really cute game. <laughs> Gotta say that. Love it. Next up on the list is the Crystal Mine, also delivers it now, right? So we have quite the surplus there, and this one here delivers then to the Setup Painter. Now, as we can see, the surplus is, of course, um, demanding a middleman then that we have again, so the card post at some point. Setup Grove is only producing four, so we still need to ramp this one up a bit. Same goes with the herbs then obviously actually you know what let's destroy one of these i don't need i don't need both of them and it's easy to rebuild it again and let's rather save it and we do need that money anyway for another set of growth then as well uh, 13 on the upkeep yeah can't help it that's just the price of it and with that we have it painted setter holy cow that was quite the feat and this one delivers it to the card post. And the card post now delivers it all the way up to the monks to the monastery. Right? And with that, we have it provided. But I can see right away. Not all. We still need two more before this one works at full capacity. Uh, this is, once again, not good. Four only. But this one is already fully loaded. I will need a second one. A second setter painter. Which, once again, will also cost me, of course... 13 on the upkeep there you go and we are going to need the middleman we're going to need the carrier post with nine upkeep to provide different resources right so this one here has the crystal and the herbs i think we're producing four yeah the the die actually is something we can switch around but i still need to have two more set of groves Let's just also check this out. Set up growth two times. So expensive. I mean, this is really expensive. We're going to provide this with that one there. And the die producer, we have to stop now the transportation. Right, and this one is then transporting into both of them. And this one is also transporting into this. <laughs> and with that, we have the surplus. But we also have a negative balance. But at least we have now reached research level 3. Because this one has increased it, right? Unfortunately, we're not getting a lot of money out of this. That's a problem. Now, what we can still do, and that is totally right. We can actually demand some donations from these guys. Hey, guys. I'm actually giving you... A monastery, pay me back, please, right? That's for these guys, and I think also my other artisan district. Yep, they're also not paying any donations yet. Definitely something I need to do. Very good, and with that, we have the 11 balance again. Just with adding a few more artisans. And we're actually on research level 3, a uh, 4 with that. Right, with all of this and we have unlocked quite a few more things like the incense production then that we probably will need as well at some point and once again it's winter in Lesaura. as the mountain city is growing now what we need next is 50 houses on level 2 we have already finished this objective right away moo what is it sweetheart is something wrong isn't it obvious? The poor animal is hungry. And since when are you a communication specialist? Oh, it isn't really that difficult. If you spend three days and three nights without food and water, everything around you starts talking. Right, let's get to work then. How about providing your yaks with nutritious fodder? 
four compact yak breeders providing all possible yaks. What? I mean, we do have seven yaks available still as a surplus. And there's the yak pasture. But there's nothing else to it, right? There's the compact yak breeder. 26 on the upkeep. That's going to be expensive. Uses fodder to increase the yak population. And... Provides additional yaks. New studies show the importance of a yak's diet for their fertility. They don't mention the amount of living space, though. Another avalanche at this point. Quite the big ones. It. Yep. And going down all the way here, right? Barley field too, and the yak pastures have been affected by this. No big deal, I think. Now, also, something else. Right now, a lot of my population want uh, some higher needs, right? On this research level, people require higher satisfaction. Otherwise, they're paying me less. And in this case here, that's exactly what's going to happen there right now. Um, in order to fix this, we need to provide something. And what lowlanders and artisans need alike is fish. And the thing is, fish we have, for example, here, right? There's a river and a bit of space. and But not enough space for anything else, like fields and stuff like that. So I think this is the perfect area for this what we'll need here is a another lift all the way down here you can make the connection up there and then we're going to make the connection over here there you go and then we have this new resource the fish this one uh, lowlanders probably right yes lowlanders uh, so we do still need something we still need those guys again a bit perhaps we can actually fix it by providing fish right getting more workforce out of it so let's just try it there's the fishery producing seven fish right now yeah, demand for fish will be pretty high i think we'll just see how it goes let's start with two of them right two fisheries uh one here and i need to keep still a bit of a space here for a bridge then later on right so this is going to be the bridge then and then we're also going to need once again another card post somewhere here centrally where the fish can be provided and then be provided for the artisans perfect how much is that oh <laughs> the artisans already need all, all of it right but still even with that we have already the the positive balance and let's have another fishery so we're going to surplus and this one goes now to all the way to the other side of the mountain. Oh, I think other way around would have been better at this point. And provide it to this market there for the lowlanders. Doesn't give me enough yet. Uh, some of them would like to upgrade though with the fish now in. How much fish is it by the way? Yeah, we have a surplus. We can actually go ahead and upgrade the remaining ones and have a huge balance. Look at that by providing fish to my people. I mean, fish really has that amazing effect. With that, also, all of these guys here want to upgrade. Uh, we need to make sure, of course, that we keep the balance tight. I love that the surplus, uh, the visible here, the graph is visible when I upgrade. And we can just time this completely right to get the maximum out of that. Now, the problem still remains with the low level workforce. We do need a bit more space for these guys. That's a huge plateau. And ah, there is still a chance for avalanches here, so we need to be careful. Oh, and there's already the other side of the mountain. I was already wondering where it ends. And let's just make sure that, first of all, this one here, we move a bit down. So that we have then the ability to build a bridge here. And on the other side here, we can build the bridge probably now already. To build another lowlander village in this case all the way down here i think we will not need to worry about artisans for quite some time right so it's all about the lowlanders and for this once again we start with a food market here we will however start right away with the protection i think avalanche protection we have we have also the avalanche barrier this one actually has a pretty high upkeep and it does not provide any resources it however also does not consume any workforce right but since we have a nice balance, I might actually just have the barrier this time around. And we'll just see how we can do this. And as you can see, there's the, the protection then that we can then, that we can provide from this. Blocks weak avalanches. Or the powerful ones already weakened by big tree covers. Alright, we need to have the forests after all here at the at the the forefront, right? So over here probably. Just really want to make sure that any kind of avalanche going down here um, is not hurting my village and then here we're going to go ahead once again with another food market for this district this one can go up then probably we'll have a connect oh yeah 
there's salt. We definitely will need to have a connection up there. And then we just go ahead here with that. Now, where should we have the food production for these guys? We should still have an egg production somewhere else, right? I think for the artisans we have it. Yep, there it is. Right, there we have the egg surplus. And actually we have a pretty huge surplus here. So I can provide the surplus to the other lowlander market then as well. Let's have actually um, another one, right? And this one also provides now the eggs for the artisans, but also at the same time to this food market here. And here we can now have then the lowlanders once more. And they're already unhappy because of the research level, right? They already want more of their life <laughs> because of that. So the more I build, the more the penalty is, right? It does cost me quite a bit right now. So I definitely need to provide as much as possible. They actually also want the gong <laughs> and the mandala. So I can provide the mandala, for example. It's Or a gong just requires five monks. Who doesn't like a good gong, right? We can have a gong here together with a shrine, for example, providing those two in one place, right? That's already a nice booster. There you go. Having this around it. And then probably still something else like the fish, right? The fish we have over there. I should still have some room left. Four more fishes. There is one. And on the other side, on the other side, unfortunately, it's not possible really. So that's two more fisheries that we have. For that surplus of 20 right now. Let's provide it to these guys as well. So this makes them at least happy and I lose the penalty again, right? Oh, also we still have the buried in snow compensation. That's interesting. This mechanic is because they're still covered and for this, can I delete them? No, I cannot delete them. That's an interesting one. So first of all, we need to have, of course, an avalanche protection here for the future. There you go. Not going to be cheap. <laughs> And then we need to have Mr. Plo, right? Mr. Plo is going to clear this up. And I need to have two Mr. Plo's for now. And let's hope that I can actually... That we can actually then clean it up. Uh, what does he need to be operational though? Clears buildings within range of avalanche snow. Right, so this one here... Can already be cleared now. All right, provide 720 citizens with access to a praying place is my next target in here. And Mr. Plo is super expensive. But it can't be helped. We need to clear it up. There it is. Number one, number two, number three has been cleared. And hopefully I can delete him now. I can delete him. I pro it's probably better to just move him in the future instead of deleting him and building him again, right? Which is quite expensive. But with that, we lose that penalty. All right, on the other side of the mountain, here we are again. We can still have more lowlanders. There you go, so they have access. And bring place also these guys here. There you go. So that we have more of them. Okay, there's still a lot of them that don't have access to a praying place. How is this possible? I think everybody has access to it. Oh no, look at that. There's a few here that don't have it. And there we have it. I think, yeah, those monks did not have a praying place. We had... We have given them an academy, but no place to pray. There it is. And once again, we have the full compact, the Ark Breeders now that we still need. And now we should hopefully have the balance then as well for this. So what I would like to try here, uh, we are going to have the Ark Breeders, right? And we're going to delete the Ark Pasture over here. This is going to hurt, of course, because we are going to lose now Yak. But the compact Yak Breeder is providing way more Yaks, right? So we're speaking about uh, three times more, more than three times actually. So if I have those guys here, the Yak Breeders, right? We can have over here, the Fodder Fields. Just going to make sure that we need to be quick about this. And 
then we are going to provide those guys here with the fodder. And unfortunately, we also will need a high dryer in between. We can actually have two fields, I think. Yep, and this one provides the fodder then. To number one. And that is not enough. Holy cow. We'll need a lot of these hay dryers. Because that is only working for one now. That's incredible. That's a lot. Can I add more? No, adding more doesn't oops doesn't really do that much, right? Nope. So I need to have another middleman once again. Because this is Yeah, we need to have definitely a carrier post in between. It gets it's getting a bit messy here. Let's destroy this again. And destroy this one. And I'm actually going to move the card post. The charcoal pile. Can we move this one? A bit further. There you go. So that I have a bit of a space in between where I can have one of my carrier posts. Because we do need this in, in that area now. And then we're going ahead with the fodder now. Right. Fodder number one. Fodder number two. Probably need a third one somewhere then. And then we provide the barley now with this. We need to make sure that we are not using though the, the brewery. And this one provides then the carrier post with it. Right, so here in the carrier post we have a surplus of 7 now. And this one provides it then to the yaks. There you go. Can't be helped, we need to move the whole thing. There is not enough space here and the ratio is completely out of whack, right? This produces three hay, the hay dryer needs four hay and the yak breeder needs four from the output uh, of three fodder that we have. So we definitely need to have two central carrier posts um, and two specializations with this. So I'm going to actually um, get rid of, of these guys here again, right? So perhaps there's an easier way, there you go. Deleting them, right? We're going to keep the, the compact yak breeders here with a with their post, but everything else we're going to move somewhere else. I need to have a specialized area for this. In the green fields, hopefully. So here, we already have the barley fields here, right? And the barley fields produce fodder and um, barley at the same time. So we can, I think, ramp it up with those guys here quite a bit, right? So they're going to provide now the barley, but they can, hopefully, at the same time, also provide the fodder then to this area. And this is possible. Perfect. They can have actually two outbound trade routes here, right? One for the barley and one for the fodder. And this makes a lot more sense, obviously. There you go. Leading to surplus of 12 fodder now. And, of course, why stop here? We can still have another one. And also this one here, providing the barley and providing the fodder to this area here, or the hay, right? And then we have the hay dryer uh, from the carrier post, yeah, probably in this area too. So we'll need to have a, a, a car posted up here, and then we can have the fodder machine, <laughs> hay dryer it is. And let's have four, let's start with three for now, right? And this is then providing it, and they need four each. There you go. So these are working. I can have one more. There you go. All four of them are now being provided. And then we have the card post, finally. So they're all providing then their outputs to the card post. And then this card post with 16 on the fodder provides it to finally my, yeah, to my area over here. Where we do have then those, hmm, nah. You know what, let's also move them over, this doesn't make sense. Let's keep things simple. We can have another carrier post down here. This is really tricky, honestly, because we might also need more barley field, but we also still need that middle ground, right? So I'm still going ahead and I'm going to keep me this reserve for more fodder. And then actually here we can now have the yak breeders. Finally, finally, that took me quite some time now. And we need to have four working, right? And let's just check it out. We don't need this one anymore. Rather provide it now to this carrier post. And they need four each. We have a surplus of 16. 
There you go. <laughs> that was quite, quite the challenge, honestly, because of the limited space and of the trade route management. And yeah, I guess there's more where this is coming from. And we continue onwards in the next episode. Stay tuned.